Hi, hi, my precious moon babies. Um, today's video blog is gonna be a little bit different and uh, I'm gonna speak with a really gentle voice so that you guys can get some ASMR. A uh, lot of ASMR, by the way. But uh, I really debated making this video blog because generally my spirituality and uh, some parts of my life are very private and very sacred. But then I remembered what it felt like to be a teenager in a small town and like not have any soulmates and how hungry I felt for any kind of like spiritual connection and spiritual information and how impossible it was to get. So I figured, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna share this side with you. Uh, maybe you can uh, find something that also resonates. And uh, yeah, this is my altar. This is my, I guess, my most sacred corner in the physical world, uh, in the moon temple. And basically everything I love or value or want to charge or hold super dear to my heart is on this table. So let me show you what I got here. Well, first of all, of course, lots of crystals. I have crystals spread out throughout my house. Um, let me talk to you about some of them more specifically. These, I would say, are my most important crystals. These four especially are like my hardcore personal crystals that I travel with. Um, I meditate with them. These are kind of for charging and like Reiki and uh, yeah, so let me tell you more. Um, first of all, this one, I call it my personal crystal. Usually I have like some other names for them, but this one I just call my personal crystal. I found it at a metaphysical store in Estonia and instantly connected with it, you know? I feel like with these like magical items, it's just, it's all about your intuition because it's not like some scientifically, you know, explained thing. So it's just all about your own feeling, you know? So this one, yeah, I meditate with this. Um, and in this set of meditation crystals, I have two sets of meditation crystals. These ones, uh, this is my first set, and this one is, I call it the angel wing. And the angel wing uh, is really, really special. It's very, very soft, amazing energy. Uh, I actually harvested this from Ibiza myself. And uh, you know, there's a reason why Ibiza has such an old hippie culture and uh, all these people are just kind of attracted to it because it is actually situated on a huge rock quartz crystal. So you know, I went to this, um, I went to this metaphysical store there and I said, where can I get like a local Ibiza crystal? And she said, well, you know, you can harvest some maybe like around the lighthouse. And I was like, but no specific directions, huh? She's like, no, just flow. So I did just flow. And I came across this huge rock hill, a crystal hill. So I got to harvest myself some of these incredible babies. And then I have a second set of meditation crystals. Uh, these I also harvested myself from Sedona. I don't know. My friends kind of call me the crystal finder because I do actually feel really connected to crystals for some reason. And uh, we went on a hike with friends and just came across this like, I don't even know how to say it, gravels, like little kind of rivers of gravel with like crystals in them. So these ones have quite a different energy than my other uh, meditation set. These are like very more real and truthful and like harder in a way, cause it's like, these are more soft. These are like, I would say these are like, when it comes to like color of the energy, these are like light pink-ish, but these are just like pure white light, you know? And it doesn't necessarily, pure white light or the truth doesn't necessarily have to like feel comforting to your soul all the time, you know? It's just the truth, you know? So it's neutral. These are neutral energy. They're not like, you know, they're not gonna like wrap you in their arms of an angel wing, you know? They're just neutral and powerful and truthful and I value these really, really highly. And 
And uh, this one's also from Ibiza. This one is just something that I've had for a while, which I kind of always have around. Um, and these are like the big ones. This one I use when I do Reiki. I think it's like uh, called Apophilite, Apophilite or something. It's very like angelic and bright. And uh, I don't know, I found it somewhere in Estonia and I was just like, I must have this. So it's just very like angelic, ethereal, magical. And this crystal cave as well. I don't remember what this crystal is called, but I kind of just charge like my jewelry in here. I have my, you know, my like crystal pendulums and whatnot. And this one actually is a really special ring for me as well. This is Kunzite. And Kunzite is supposed to have very similar energy to rose quartz, but it's much more rare. This is a pretty rare stone. Um, and it's also a lot more powerful. And the Kunzite is supposed to just kind of like clear all your emotional blockages and get rid of fear. And it was really important because I had no idea what this stone was. I just saw it um, and I got it. And then I came home and, you know, I had just moved into the temple and I was, um, I was really afraid to be here at first because, you know, I'm here alone in the forest and like, I'm afraid and like every creek just freaks me out. And uh, I got this Kunzite ring and actually that night I was unable to feel fear. So this one, whenever I feel really stressed out or fearful, I, I wear this. And just in general, yeah, it's supposed to clear your emotional garbage 